Hello Leos! Welcome to your Venus Retrograde reading for October to November 1st of this year. Doing a quite much more different spread this time, if you don't mind. Just to celebrate Halloween and since it's a retrograde, I figure let's do a different one and see how that goes. Ooh, I'm feeling a little bit oppressed, I see. I won't look at all of those right now. Um, figured the top one's enough, but it feels like you're getting over some sort of burden. Feeling better about something, so that's good. Ah, just so you guys know, I'm doing personal readings and all the information's in the description box below. Just hit me up with email and I'll let you know what's going on with that, okay? Okay. Also, I am Prego. I actually watched the Quiet Revolutions um, Cancer Season video on you guys months ago, which said you guys would find out in October that some of y'all might be pregnant or expecting a pregnancy. My husband's a Leo, and she was nearly close. I, we actually found out I was pregnant on the 30th of September, the 29th or the 30th, one of the two. She was like two days shy, but she was close enough, so it's kind of like, ah, well, I was kind of groovy. I actually wasn't expecting it. But yeah, there's going to be a little one of us running around. Melina's going to have someone to play with. I'm sure. Or he'll get jealous, one of the two. Like, he's like a kid, too. But I like that about him. <laughs> okay, so. Let us start with yours. No whammy. All right, Leo. Three in the middle, three on each side, three on each side. Ready? Go. So we got this card. The botch. Some options that were not what you, I feel like, thought they were. They weren't the best. Two seconds. I thought there was some crazy ass neighbor coming in or some shit. My neighbors are nuts around these parts, man. Anyway, yeah. Like maybe there were some emotions that weren't the healthiest, or maybe there were some attachments here that uh weren't the best for you, maybe. You figured that out. And then we got over here, Princess of Dis, Capricorn Virgo, Taurus, someone who's kinda sitting there guarding themselves aren't really offering much, kind of immature in their practices, um, kind of, they, it, like, tend to disappoint, I like saying the page of Pentacles is kind of an idiot, I feel like this person's keeping more to themselves in this, though, than, like, like, the trees are acting like more of a shield for their back than anything. Maybe they're full of anxiety and worry or something. And on this side, we have the Hermit, possibly a Virgo, someone who's keeping to themselves about things. Someone who's looking introspectively at themselves and trying to figure things out. Like they have their little lantern while they're keeping in a little cornfield. I don't know what that is, though. I have no idea what that green thing is. Now, up here, we have... Prince of Wands, King of Wands, could be actually you, Leo, or Sagittarius, or an Aries. Someone charging, someone galloping to a victory, someone exasperating, being all show. That power, that fire, right? Driving in. And over here, we have someone making a decision of sorts. Then over on this side, we have the Emperor. Ooh, another fire sign. Aries, possibly. Someone who's in control. As they're galloping forward. That's a lot of fire on this side. And on this side, maybe a lack of an apology? Something wasn't going to happen the way you thought it was? Maybe it was a heartfelt situation that didn't work out? Like, someone made a decision not to apologize? For going hermit mode, I guess? I don't know. Maybe someone's not reaching out of sorts? And then on this side, we have... Queen of Cups, someone's kind of being emotionally manipulative. Someone's not really coming out with anything, right? And on this side, 
<laughs> Princess of Cups, Page of Cups. Someone's still not coming out with their emotions. Either about Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces types. Like. Like someone's ready to go and they're in control, manipulating, adapting as they will, and being like manipulative with this page of pentacles diverse. And on this side, someone's been keeping to themselves. They made a decision either not to apologize or not to be emotionally available, and they're keeping their feelings hidden away immaturely with the page of cups. They're not being mature about, like, not offering their feelings either. They're just not coming out with it, period. And they don't want to work anything out either, right? Now, down below, we got on this side, someone's, like, isn't very... Someone isn't happy. Or they don't feel like they're getting enough. The Six of Cups, like, sometimes this fears more towards the future. Or... Maybe focusing on the good or bad of past events. Um, maybe they're galloping to something that'll give them better pleasure in the future. Because he's taken off or some shit. And on this side, we have oppression. Someone was feeling oppressed and that's why they made a decision. On this side, someone might be offering feelings up. As they are staying in control. Someone... Could be offering a little crab up, just being like, here, take this to this page of pentacle. Like someone was unhappy and they wanted to leave, but now they're offering something in order to stay in control. Maybe an apology or something. Maybe some real f emotions. But this is emotional manipulation up here, so I don't know. With this non apology, this whatever, there's like Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Someone may be galloping forward for a f fight, like going in for confrontation, riding forward into battle. Maybe somebody's afraid of like getting stung because <laughs> he looks like a bee. Then on this side, someone felt trapped in their head with some cruelty. With some emotional manipulations. Like someone feels trapped and like they're hiding that. Now on this side we have a truce. Four of swords. Someone's thinking about them being in hermit mode and not coming out with their true feelings. Hmm. Pull three, three, and three. Advice. Here's someone in control of the rules. The Hierophant and possibly Taurus energy. Then we got someone... Still not coming out with anything. Um, Seven of Swords reverse, like someone was being sneaky, and then they got caught up. Oh, and then we have <laughs> King of Cups. Someone being emotionally stubborn. Someone being hard-headed. Someone not really trying to be emotionally available at all. Like someone's setting boundaries with a hierophant. Then on this side we have a loss rather than a gain. Like someone wasn't tapped into themselves. Someone kind of lost their identity of sorts. It was... Or something like that. Like, someone, like, felt like they lost something rather than gained it. Like, it's not a full expression of the self or creativity. And I feel like someone wasn't really in tune with their emotions, but now something is being produced and growing and flourishing with the Eight of Pentacles. 
followed by the moon. Here are the last three right there. We got the Ten of Swords, someone feeling tortured. Then there's a replica of an offer, not a real authentic one, not a genuine one, but like a copy of one. And then there's all these disappointments that follow after. Hmm. And that's for the center, right? Right. These bad emotions. I feel like someone's gonna have a lot of disappointment if they take this false offer. Because there's gonna be ruin, there's gonna be backstab, ten of swords, right? There's gonna be somebody getting hurt. Like, there's a little heart right there in the center of it all. And some of the swords are even bent up into each other. Just, ugh. Just a lot of harshness. Right? That's yours for this time around, Leo. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.